this is old town. And this is not a spring chicken today. The big news. Oh, actually, this is our cons daily number. This is our daily. This is our day nine coverage. The seventh day of the Cannes Film Festival, and believe me, it is a very slow day. Yeah, I think everybody is. Shall we say the recovery? This the weather has been a main focal point because for the last couple of days, as you know, it's been raining, overcast. Well, actually, it's rainy and windy, which is a really bad combination, right. <laughs> especially for parties and events. And also, you know, Monday, yeah. um, you know, on Sunday, the transitioning period. And part of it is there's not as many parties that are going on. The pavilions are still open, but the major parties, most of them are already finished. Yeah, are there going to be towards the weekend? You know, right. Get, because that's just, they finish up cons, you know, they'll have a, they're going away. The closing thing, night party. closing nights, but since... What happens is it looks like most of the American comes in a tank badly this year. They came in with great buzz. They like um, Killing Me Softly did, but Killing Me Softly basically I told you yesterday that I, there was no press, there was no uh, production notes available. Well, I actually found production notes which basically says this to the Americans is in French. I know, it's not in English. Actually, you did find something in English. Oh, yeah, but here it, it's it is. Like, it's like a one paragraph. It looks like a synopsis that you see on IMDb. Yeah, except, it's, you know, so it basically started killing me softly as Brad Pitt reunites with the, uh, the assassinated director, Jesse James, Andrew Dormick, for uh, basically a, it's an adaption of Coogan's Trade, which is a reminiscing of the Clint Eastwood thriller, Coogan's Bluff, where he, Pitt plays... Uh, Coogan, a man employed his cattle location where he has to be taken a place, and then he basically ba rips off the mob, basically. Mm -hmm. And um, stars Brad Pitt, Ray Liotta, Richard Jenkins, James Califano, and has an $18 million budget. That's that, folks. That's mm -hmm. uh, But uh, we got the movies that are... Oh, actually, you know what else? It's Tuesday, so guess what else is big? Oh, this is Jackie Chan's... Um, <laughs> You know, rescinding everything he said. It was the day he tried to explain to people something was lost in the translation because Jackie Chan is getting very uh, tired of telling people that are sending him their condolences and wishing him a happy life afterwards. You know, he, you know, uh, he's 58 years old, folks. He just okay. If you watch the commercials he's doing for TV, you're going to see how Jackie Chan is going to be working from now on. But he's not going to do it as badly. Where your guy comes down. And then all of a sudden, Jackie Chan pops up. That's not how it's done in his movies. That's not how it's done in any movie where you pay any attention to stunt work. And he's basically a master stuntman. He he knows how it's done. You know, if you if you knock a guy back, you're supposed to get up. You know, like you're actually were in the scene. It's also better cutting and stuff. But he's not retiring from action films. He's doing what I said originally. He's just returning to the days of when he didn't do as much physical stuff and more acting. And, you know, and more comedy, so... Yeah. Well, one of the things that I noticed... Oh, actually, I'll let you finish about Jackie. No, it just, he just, it, it's just because he said, my bones don't heal as fast anymore. Well, that's what happens when you heal. And they took that to mean he was retiring from action movies. No. Um, the other part is, what's noticeably missing is Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey, going into this, he had three films here at Cons, and... All three? three have you heard, I mean... No, I mean, I, I understand he was... It was listed as intended, but I've seen no pictures of him. Mm -hmm. It's just like that um, they said that Matthew McConaughey was rebuilding his career. Well, he's going to do a reality show, I think, on, TN, on TNN or, or TV, Turner Broadcasting, which means your career is really tanked if you're hosting an action show. And this was, oh my gosh. and basically what happened was is that the the movies played early, and basically a movie that plays early never gets the palm de or it doesn't get the oh. attention. So the buzz basically died. Yeah, but he has three films. And I we're know, not well, that's anything. an accomplishment right there. I mean, I think that's a major big deal, but usually it's like, okay, there's, you're seeing them on the car, but you're, you know, all these different things, so... You know, well, basically nobody takes him serious anymore. I haven't taken him serious in a long time because his movies don't make any money. And if you don't make any money and you keep playing the same lackadaisical role, they figure, well, so he does, he's going to get his acting chops going, and then mm -hmm. basically the movies get buried. So we've got, like today, we got the Killing Them Softly and The Angel of Shar, which have already been ran here. They're, if they were having parties, they'd be getting ready to go to parties right, right now. Right, because we're on a different time zone. Yeah. yeah. So, and actually, usually when they're, they're premiering at cons, they do have an after party. And it's, you know, depending on how large it is for cast and crew. So, you know, it's like, Brad Pitt's in town, he did the press conference, he should be there for the party, right? Well, I guess so, but Brad Pitt looked like Brad Pitt, though, you know, so... 
I actually hear it, uh, I think right here. Actually, I got his press conference. Ah. So actually, I can bring that up. There's, you can see Brad Pitt, like Brad Pitt yeah. right there. So uh, it's, a, it's not much of a conference, but um, you know. Uh, they got one quote from each of them? Yeah, Brad Pitt, the char actually, Brad, you could talk about Brad Pitt character in the yes. film. Brad Par Pitt says, we play characters who have clear-cut con clear-cut opinions in a divided country. The clear-cut comments necessarily share the points of view shown in the film. I prefer playing a killer rather than a racist. Jackie Coogan tries to kill softly so that it is not too painful for his victim, who has to die no matter what happens. This last point is a reflection on business, which can be merciless. That's, uh, I remember <laughs> what was it. It was um, um, uh, Robert Klein in the, mo in the movie that we saw. He, uh, he killed his people, you know, just, you know, actually, uh, no, it was, uh, I don't know, it was the, the guy, it was the brother of, 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 of Super Dave mm -hmm. that was in the movie. He was playing the kill. he was playing an old contract killer, but basically, you know, uh, I'm going to make the, he basically, he would slice their throat and stuff and kill them really easy. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, you're dying. Dying is not easy. It's always difficult, especially if you don't want to die. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing, but basically what happens is dying. So it's the same thing with basically the killer. The other people are racist. Uh -huh. Well, I, <clears throat> how do you, if you're making a movie for cons, how do you describe racist? Mm -hmm. Well, he's white, he's Republican, and he doesn't support the president. Therefore, you're you're racist. Well, Andrew Dominic, when he's talking about the characters in the film, you heard Brad Pitt. Yeah. This is what Andrew's saying. He says they are typical criminal characters. Um, with a funny side to them. The character played by Brad Pitt thinks the world in which he li we live is a result of natural selection. Which in makes other him words, a racist. In other words. <laughs> That's a racist, folks. <laughs> which means I'm not playing one of those Republican types that believes in natural selection. I am a racist. I, I am a killer. That's terrible, isn't it? He's playing exactly the same thing he can do. I, I love it. I mean, these are the quotes, right? This yeah. comes from the Cannes Film Festival. Yeah, I see the, uh, you know, I, I love it. The book depicts criminality. When I began to adapt, I realized it was also the tale of an economic crisis that capitalism is a never-ending story. Basically, it's an anti-American movie, folks. But Which this means is done by an Australian director. Okay, shall we say it's going to get a nomination for Best Picture? <laughs> Can we tell you with this type of attitude? Because it's quite obvious that Brad Pitt is playing a Republican hitman. And it's so, you know, so. No, we haven't even seen the film. Actually, he's also basically, natural selection is also what the not, we were naturally selected to be the, what we are, superiority. So, but the, anyway, that's bad. So, he's, you know, but it, it's done, but Brad Pitt didn't do it for the money. Brad Pitt did it so that he could get an Oscar nomination. But, um, He's been wanting one for quite some time. Oh, we do have the quote of the day from, from one of their selected ones, which we always give the quote of the day, which is, cinema is one of the most important mediums that we have been given to approach life and human beings. Mm. Well, yeah, unless you use it for the wrong purpose. <laughs> so it's this, okay, cinema can basically be described as a, as a loaded gun. Mm -hmm. You know, it depends upon whose hands the camera is in as to the direction that the is going to be aimed. Oh, that sounds like when people show you a gun. Is the gun good or bad? Yeah. Right? It depends upon the person holding the gun. Mm -hmm. a film film can be film can be used for good purposes and film can be used for bad purposes. That's what the guy is basically saying right mm -hmm. there. So but um, you know, but we're you no know, I guess think of anything else we've got to say about today. There's nobody, nobody's talking about anything today. There's no controversy. There's no controversy. There's no parties. The weather is fairly decent. It's like, they're all like, okay, let's get back out. I think they're all just excited to get out. It's kind of like, okay, let's come out. Okay, now what's going on? We've been, everybody's been kind of in their hole, like trying to catch well, no, up on because, sleep. Um, there were no even photo calls today. Yeah. No, not even <gasps> that. Not even. I have nothing. I've not, been nothing to do. Wow. So because I basically guess because the storm tore everything down. So I guess yeah. until we bring up news tomorrow, this is all can. This is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. For more information, uh, you can go for your production notes to www.
MontyBubbles.net on the net and for the, the, the uh, faster and quicker news over to www.ambiennewsvideoway.com. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you want it more up to date, um, you can of course follow us on Facebook for Monty Bubbles Network or on Twitter for Monty Bubbles. So meanwhile, thank you for joining us. <laughs>